Hey guys, Kamakuno, and this is also a video review for Player Affinity, and today I am reviewing Avenging Spider-Man issue 7. So let's see what's going on with this issue. Um, let's talk about the cover first. I have to say, one of the reasons I picked up this issue was because of the cover. Um, I picked up issue 1 for Avenging Spider-Man. It was a Red Hulk and Spider-Man team up, and I wasn't a big fan of Red Hulk, so I was like, I didn't, I don't really enjoy this team up. So I'm like, alright, I'll pick up this series again, issue for this series, when I, I when I like the character. And so, issue 7 came along, and She-Hulk was uh, teaming up with Spider-Man. And I like She-Hulk, I think she's a cool character, so I said, you know what? I'm going to pick up this issue, see how it is, and um, see if I actually like the series, and maybe if I like the story and like the art. So it was a good excuse to pick up this um, series again. But let's see what's going on with this issue and see if I like that also. So in this issue, we get to see Spider-Man and She-Hulk team up, and She-Hulk has to go to this gala in this uh, museum auction. So uh, she gets a taxi and says, all right, I got to go with Spider-Man, bye. So um, Spider-Man follows her, and he was like, I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to go follow her. And, um, she, uh, he sees that these two hooded people walk into, um, the museum. And Spider-Man says, you know, something isn't right here. So, uh, these two hooded people are cat, I guess, followers, this, uh, this big cat goddess person, uh, phantom person, um, wants this neck, a uh, necklace. And these two hooded people are trying to get this necklace, and she and Spider-Man stop them. And, um, since the necklace is there, um... She-Hulk touches the necklace or something, and uh, she ends up having a tail. And I guess this could be the first step for this um, phantom uh, cat to control uh, She-Hulk. So uh, they're trying to find this phantom cat. It's like, who is the head of this? Um, these hooded people? I have to find them. Now I can get rid of this tail and um, see what's going on and see why these hooded people want this necklace. So uh, they defeat this phantom cat, and the tail goes away, and that's the end of the story. So, I didn't really love this issue. I didn't even like it. Um, I have to say, again, from issue one, I didn't think it was horrible. Um, I just didn't like the characters. But in this issue, I like She-Hulk. I like Spider-Man. Again, Spider-Man is one of my favorite characters. Obviously, you can see from the wall of uh, posters behind me and the shirt I'm wearing right now. Uh, so I love Spider-Man. He's one of my favorite characters. So, I wanted to pick up this issue. I thought I could enjoy it because I, I like these characters. But... The story just was bad. Huh? It was just a bad story. Um, like it, you probably saw when I was explaining the story, it was like it was like cat phantom person lost his necklace. It was kind of, it was like a boring story. Um, something that really, really I didn't like the most in this issue though was that every word that Spider Man said was a joke. It was nothing serious. And I know Spider Man. Oh, trust me, like I said, I'm, I love Spider-Man. He's one of my favorite characters. I know Spider-Man's character. Yeah, he jokes around, especially in serious uh, situations. That's just his personality, and I love that. I love that about his personality. But, in like, at serious times, when he's trying to have a battle, he doesn't just say jokes all the time. Like, he says stuff that's serious, you know? You can take him seriously sometimes. And in this issue, you can't take him seriously. And, like, they're jokes that are not funny. You know, and it's just like everything he said is like not meaningful. And uh, I really did not enjoy this. And, and She-Hulk was really boring also. She wasn't that great. This team up just did not work. And like, why did they team up? They didn't explain why they teamed up. For a team up book, you have to explain like, why are they there? You know, who is in the villain? Who is this villain? This villain, like, this villain was not interesting. Like, who knew why this villain was there? Who, why did they want this necklace? What was important about this necklace? They did not explain that. Um, Spy so, everyone was out of character. The story wasn't there. Why were they teaming up? There was nothing good about this issue. The art was good. That's the only thing I can really compliment on this, uh, on this issue. So, this was not a good issue for you to want to pick up Avenging Spider-Man. Um... I just didn't enjoy it. It's just like Spider-Man was so out of character and the story just wasn't there. And um, so I don't rec recommend this issue for you guys to read. Um, I say don't pick this issue up. I was really disappointed and I don't think I'll be picking up Avenging Spider-Man anytime soon. Um, again, I just did not like this issue. And I say don't pick this issue up. Cover was good. Art was good. Story was not good. Characters weren't good. And um... Again, I just didn't enjoy it, and I, I think I wasted my money. Uh, how much it was it? Four dollars? Really was not worth it. Even a two dollar ninety nine comic was not worth it. So um, yeah, so don't pick this issue up. I give this one star. It was really bad. So um, 
yeah, so I recommend don't pick this up. Um, this is Kamakuno. Hope you guys enjoyed, though. And again, I say don't pick this issue up. And I was kind of disappointed. Actually, really disappointed that I didn't like this issue because I really did want to like it. So, um... This is Kamiguno and a video review for Player Finney. Hope you guys enjoyed. And um, in the description below will be a link for my Twitters, um, for both my YouTube channels, uh, uh, Kamiguno and The Random Situations. I'll have news about those videos. Hope you guys enjoyed. And this was Kamiguno. And I say don't pick it up, and I give this one star. See you guys.